Hi, welcome to the TS453 Pro Unboxing. Today we're going to unbox a brand new NAS from QNAP. Um, the QNAP TS453 Pro comes with an upgraded processor as opposed to what the X69 series is used to. Um, the main advantage of this NAS will be you can upgrade the RAM to 8GB. Um, it also features enough processing power to do live media transcoding. That is the biggest sell point of this new NAS. Um, as you can see, QNAP have gone with a new blue colour for this NAS. Um, if you take a closer look, the unit comes with those inside. Um, it has 2.5 inch screws, it has 4 Ethernet cables. Um, the other biggest advantage of the QNAP TS453 Pro is the addition of 4 RJ45 ports. Um, this allows you to do double the teaming, so you can effectively have two 2 gig uplinks to your NAS. Um, this will help with buffering of video, live transcoding, etc. Um, when we first unbox it, it's got a very, actually let me show you what it has packed initially. So initially the package is in very good condition. Um, the main reason for this is of course for shipping. Um, this way no damages can occur. If you notice everything is foamed. The power cable has its own nickel slot on the side. We take off our foam. This is our first layer of foam. There is more. Um, it just shows the unit inside with the brown accessory box. If we take out the, if we take out the mass, we have our 453 Pro here, plastic wrapped, looking very good. If you notice, QNAP now send all of their NASs with these My QNAP Cloud stickers. Um, the main advantage of this is for ease of use for your remote setup, so you don't have to even go through the wizard that's on the QNAP, which I may add is very, very easy to use, but this basically allows you to just pay your NAS to your Q file application on your Android or iOS device or even Windows phone. Um, they have a little bit, bit of packaging foam that sits in between the NAS. This way the NAS doesn't hit the brown accessory box. Um, again, that's basically our packaging. Uh, it's very comprehensive. There's a little bit of foam at the bottom so the NAS can't get hurt. Uh, we do secure all the hard drive trays when we install hard drives into your NAS. If you do purchase a diskless NAS, we do not even open this box and you get it how it is. Just to show you a little bit of the box before we go into the features of the NAS. We showed you the top, the side of the box actually features a bit more comprehensive overview of what the NAS has included um, in various other languages that QNAP of course sell to. Um, the other side of the box is just an overview of some of the stock applications available for the QNAP. Of course, the QTS App Store carries thousands of these applications now. Um, sorry, hundreds would be the correct word. Um, however, of course, that's ever expanding and there's always new functionalities added to the NAS every day. Um, the front of the box simply depicts your 453 Pro, lets you know what you bought. The back of the box is actually quite interesting if you're a new NAS user, as you just you read the back of the box, it actually shows you effectively how you could set up a QNAP either in a home or office environment and what you could utilize it for. Just a general idea, you can of course do a lot more with the NAS. Um, but this is just the start of it and how you can actually just set up your NAS effectively at home to start with. Um, going through the 453 Pro, you've got your power cable here which will plug into your 453 Pro. Let's open up the accessory box. If you buy a dishless unit, the quick inst if you buy a dishless unit, the quick installation guide is extremely important to you. It'll um, just show you how to quickly set up your hard drives and install them into the NAS as well as walk you through a quick configuration setup so you can get your NAS reading so you can get it to a usable state. Um, aside from that, again, this is more important for the diskless people than the hard drive based people. Um, hard drive based people, this is important for you. Your keys come inside a little white package, um, sorry, a little plastic ziplock bag inside the, inside the accessory box. These will be very important to you if you want to check your hard drives for whatever reason. Uh, make sure your NAS is in a powered off state before you unplug your hard drive and of course unlock them. Uh, you get 2.5 inch screws and you also get 3.5 inch screws which are pretty self-explanatory. Along with that, the only other thing in this brown accessory box is your RJ45 cables times 4. These are 1 gig cables, Cat5e. Um, they, they, they should be basically what everybody else needs to use in a NAS. Of course, unless you're using 10 gig Ethernet, but then that wouldn't be, this wouldn't be the NAS you would get there. Um, let's move this out of our way slightly. So that's the brown accessory box. Let's unpack our NAS. Um, the plastic packaging is very comprehensive. It's very nicely done. The tape breaks off very easily without ripping the um, packaging. Uh, you can either rip the tape. We generally just fold it over. That way the packaging can be reused. Let's say if you have an RMA, um, 
if you have any other issues with the Nash, we of course always recommend you keep all of the original packaging, um, at least for the warranty of the Nash. Um, the plastic packaging comes off very nice and easy, very cleanly packed. We generally don't undo all the tapes, that way it's just easier for us to put all the masses back together. Uh, we suggest you do the same, just in case you need to send it off. Um, taking a quick look at the QNAP 453 Pro, it's uh, generally the same shell that we're used to on the 469 and the TS451. Um, if you take a look at the hard drive trays, they're exactly what we're used to. They pop out at the bottom here, of course the locks are all located at the top. Hard drive trays come out nice and easy. Um, each hard drive tray is designed to accept 3.5 inch hard drives, either from the front. Um, there's three different screw slots for the 3.5 inch hard drives. Some drives come with the um, positioning slightly differently. And then of course in the middle here you've got your 2.5 inch screw slots that allows you to put in an SSD into the NAS or a 2.5 inch hard drive. But make sure you check the compatibility list before you start using those. Put that back in there. Doing it in an awkward way. Close up those bays again. Let's take a look at the back of the NAS. Here you've got your power slot. Um, simply put your power cable in, plug on, ready to rock and roll. If you've bought a NAS bit tested NAS. Um, you've got your 1, 2, 3, 4 RJ45s. Typically channels 1 and 2 will be teamed and channels 3 and 4 will be teamed. We don't recommend going 1 to 3 and 2, two to 4. Um, you've got two USB 2.0 slots and of course this NAS now comes with USB 3.0 slots so you can effectively use the USB 3.0 slots for backup targets. The main features of the QNAP 453 of course is this included HDMI slot. Now we're used to having an HDMI slot since the QNAP TS459 Pro. However, um, QNAP have expanded that where now when you connect your HDMI to your TV, you will have the opportunity of running XPMC natively on your TV. This will allow you to effectively turn your NAS into a main media hub um, rather than having to use a different media player. Now this now becomes your media server and your media player. Um, the other advantage is you can run Chrome OS off directly off the NAS via HDMI, effectively turning this into a computer and giving you a computer at your TV. Um, if you are going to do that, I wouldn't recommend the 453 Pro, I would recommend the HS251 as that's more of a, it's more of a set-top box style, it'll look nicer in your, in your, in your home theatre or in your living room. Um, the 453 Pro we recommend just sitting by your router, um, if you do want to use the HDMI features though, by all means don't let it put you off, the 453 Pro does pack a little bit more power than the HS251. Um, that ends our unboxing for the QNAP TS453 Pro. We will shortly bring you other videos regarding the new X53 series. There's still a 6 bay to go through and an 8 bay to go through. Of course, and then we'll generally do our, our general in-depth tutorials on how to use each NAS set it up um, and utilizing the features out of that. Um, we do want to also take this time to officially announce that we have launched a new website called nashelp.com. Nashelp.com is now going to be, hopefully, your go-to resource for hard drives, for guides, for using um, a NAS and for basically getting the best feature set out of the NAS for the use case that you want. So be sure to come check us out, check out our guides, leave us suggestions. We're always willing to improve here at Simply NAS and we do welcome all of your suggestions, be it good or bad. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful day.